Good morning, YouTube. It's your man, Laura Joy Page, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, like I said, last night was a uh, UFC 256. Um, I forgot the main event, you know, some guys. And on the uh, card, where there were two um, fights. Uh, one was on the um, uh, prelims. That was uh, um, Tisha Torres versus um, Sam Hughes, which originally supposed to have been Angela Hill, but you know what happened to Angela Hill. And then on the main card was uh, uh, Mackenzie McDonald Derns, like we like to call her, and um, versus Verna Jenneroba. Now, um, you know, this is what people call it the battle, the battle of two Brazilians, but technically, it's the battle of a, a white girl versus a Brazilian. People, this is, I'm going to say it like this. You know, Mackenzie Dern is not a Brazilian. She's half Brazilian. Her, her father was a, a Brazilian, he was a fighting legend from Brazil. And she grew up in Arizona. And, you know, I've seen her, you know, and one thing treats me out about Mackenzie Dern, she does these videos. You know, she has videos of, you know, she, she, when she does, when she does the, uh, the uh, interviews, they're bringing this translator. Now, I just, you know, and, and I don't know, why you bring a translator? You can speak perfectly English. You know, she, she speaks like, you know, if the, 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 we see the tape, we see the tape. Go back in the day, you know, she speaks like, like yeah, can you ask me? Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, yeah, you know. Now she's trying to fake a Brazilian accent. You know, and it's just crazy. Huh? You know, don't make sense to you. But, as you know, these ladies faced off um, you know, last night. And I saw the fight. It was, you know, like I said, this is how I do. I don't do the pay per views. That's too much money to spend just to watch, you know, just to so you watch one fight and the rest are just, you know, not even worth your time. And, um, you know, and I just, like I said, there's always somebody has a bootleg on YouTube. You can find a bootleg video on YouTube anywhere. All you got to do is type in, you know, the search and then boom, you find it. It won't last too long because, you know, UFC, they're very really tight about their, um, about their, uh, stuff. So anyway, I watched the fight. It was pretty good. I mean, it was a back and forth battle, you know. But here's the thing was, when I did this video, I was trying to find some, um, pictures and I couldn't find that many pictures I mean most of the pictures they were showing was mostly of Mackenzie Dern striking now her striking has gotten a little bit better but she still does this she still goes moves forward and drops her head when she throws the overhand right that's a habit that's hard to break I know Jason Perillo must be really working on breaking that that habit but that's one of those habits that's hard for her to break but like I said it was good striking clink uh, one point there's a part where you know, it was, she, um, uh, Verna hit her with a knee. And I remember listening to the announcer talk about, well, she, you know, she, you know, she, you know, cause Verna wears knee, um, knee, knee sleeves. You know, she had issues with her knees, like almost any other athlete or fighter, you know, over time, like, you know, you know, you know, um, you know, two broke knees around Montefiore wears, uh, knee braces. And it said, well, you know, cause she got, you know, and, um, and Kenny got cut across the nose. And you're saying, well, you know, it's, it's it's legal in Vegas to wear these things, but you know, you feel like it was, you know, she got she got fouled for it. But no, what was that? Um, you know, Darren was coming in, and you know, and and um, Verna hits. It was throwing in a, a body kick, and it hit the face of Indian, hit on the nose. But like I said, you know, the fight was pretty good. I think uh, McKinney Darren took the first round. The second round, it, you know, I think it really belonged to uh, Verna. And in the uh, third round, I think Vernon was doing more. She was throwing more punches, more volume. And um, McKee was doing all right. But still, you know, she's still a more of a ground game. There's one part where, one point around the second round where they're on the ground. And when, uh, you know, when Kinsey fell, you know, or she, you know, she was trying to get her to come down. But Vernon was not stupid. She was going to do like a, um, you know, random Marcos and try to jump down. No, no, she wasn't going to do that because, you know, Vernon is also a good BJJ artist. She was born in Brazil, born and raised in Brazil. But, uh, like I said, really to me, you know, uh, Verna Jitterova should have won the fight. But we all know the reason why Verna didn't win. Because Mackenzie Dern is pretty. I, like I said, I'm not going to lie to you, she is pretty. And yes, I picked this picture because, you know, she has a pretty face and she got a nice set of boobs. <laughs> she, truth is, uh, Mackenzie is one of the few girls in UFC that still have natural boobs. Generally, you're going to have either you don't have boobs or you got breast implants. That's the basic facts of it. Because being that they're athletes, 
you're working out like that is and i said like, like in sport bodybuilding you know breast tissue you we lose some breast tissue when you have to work out and you know you have to build your body you know that's just the fact of it and that's just how it happens sometimes but the thing is it, it was the judges they picked Mackenzie Dern because she was the prettier of the two. And no offense to, to uh, Verna, she does look like a teenage boy. But the fact is, it's um, it's just it's a double standard that's in the UFC. It's about who's pretty. And, and truthfully, I remember, you know, when she first came in the game, you know, when she her first fight was against Ashley Yoda. And I think, I thought Ashley was a little bit prettier than Mackenzie, you know. And, you know, you know that's true. I think actually, oh, Yoda is like a little bit prettier than Mackenzie Dern, just a little bit, just like, like just really, she's a little taller too. And um, you know, the thing about you know with Mackenzie Dern, she's pretty, she got a nice body, and she got a nice butt. Truthfully, she does have a nice butt. You know, we, she's, you know, she's she's part Brazilian, so you know, you gotta remember, you know, that part of the world in Brazil is, is you come up either you're descended of Portuguese, which is white European. The Titano um, Native Americans, not natives that lived there, the, the, and then there's also the African slaves that are brought over there. And her father, being a legend, being a, a Brazilian um, fight legend, you know, he brings half of that. Her mother's white, and like I said, she keeps supporting that she's Brazilian. She's Brazilian. No, you're half. Plus, you were born here in the United States, so technically, you go by your nationality. You are American. That's it. You were born American. You know. You know. But like I said, it's just about the fact, yeah. And the problem is a lot of people don't like, you know, Makita Dern that much because she's fronting. They like how she fights. They like how she looks. But as a personal person, they don't like because she's fronting. And you see, you see, because now you, you got with Makita Dern. And now you have to find somebody else to you know, ride for who's the pretty girl. But this is what happens. If her next fight, if she fights someone like, like uh, Michelle Waterson, I think, you know, and then if the fight comes down to it, they will go with Michelle. You know, if you some, some you know, there's similar twerks like McKenzie does need some work on her nose. He, he still like it's a little bit, you know, I think it's been broken a few times. But yeah, I think the, the next time I think uh if she fights like Michelle Watterson and it comes down to a uh, decision by split, it's gonna go to favor of Michelle. As long as Michelle don't go down the ground like did the same main state that Mar and the Marcos did. But like I said, you know, this was a fight that was it was a pretty good fight. I wish I could fall more accurate pictures you know but you know how this is a narrative to push this girl is the next thing she talked about being a champion as long as you still have joanna you still got rose you you know even though andrage is out of the the division i don't think she can be a champion too only time she can be champion if those three jo joanna waylee jane and uh rose are gone that's the only way she's gonna be champion anyway you should make all the way to your page like don't like to subscribe i'm out